Made a definite impression on the inside. Well, the Knights rule the Garden State this season. Back. Now Savage off the glass and good. Dropped by a couple. Bob Wenzel would also like his team on offense to hold it. At center, a 6'10 junior from... And now for the Rutgers, Scarlet Knights. At one four. In New Jersey are starting to believe that Rutgers could steal another Atlantic 10 tournament. Keith Hughes. And for St. John's at forward, number 21, Malik C. One, one, three. And, and with See him shoot a lot of those. Here's Lumpkin. He's 46% of the nice inside games in the capable hands of 6'8 junior Keith Hughes. Time they played. Green and Hughes are in, and Jones comes up with the basketball for Rutgers. Then the first shot goes. Third oh. guard Rick Danica drained five of seven threes, but the hero with time running out was Earl Duncan. With no place to go but the hoop, Duncan's final second. Got away. It's the Scarlet Knights playing host to the Nittany Lions. Gene, a six-four freshman from. And last year, will enjoy that same enthusiasm this time around. That was evident when this year's team was introduced during the very first part. 36% from long range. One pass, Earl Duncan looking one way, passing the other, and Rutgers not intimidated at all so far. Underneath with a big seven-foot freshman, but Rutgers with a steal, two on one, and off the glass and in. Duncan's going to go for three. At one guard. Jones. Now Lumpkin, he can shoot. That goes to Rutgers. Style of play, certainly not one to tax your cardiovascular system. Simple. Now for the Rutgers, Scarlet Knights. At one forward, a six. At the other guard, a six. Teams have been meeting since 1916. Rutgers. Mike Jones penetrates, saves it. Carter puts it up and in. And Carter, a oh, flamboyant oh, thing. Man, he respects Gail Cotman's offense. Duncan working against Berger, stops, fires the jumper. Jones, Hughes from the corner. It's a three to start the proceedings. And Keith Hughes likes to shoot the three. The Lions on top, inside. Duncan gets it. Here as he catches the basketball, watch how he spins, waits until McIntyre clears so he doesn't dribble, then McIntyre trying to come over. The ball one time, he drives the baseline, mate. Earl Duncan will also put it up, and he knocks down a three -point. He nearly got caught in midair, Hughes forces one up and got it. High school, gets it off to Luck as he hits the first one, look out. Wenzel, second year at his alma mater as the head coach. His eighth year as a major college coach, but a little time as an assistant in the pros. That way cross court to Duncan. Duncan made a lot of moves and then pulled up and drilled a three. He made a lot of moves, Fred, but he didn't go anywhere with it. The out of bounds, a change of passing lanes. Duncan for three, got it. Transfers, Duncan to Hughes, who lays it up and in. Hughes, the second three from the same spot. Palestra, UMass won the first game, beating West Virginia. Carter was spinning moves. You have the closer they are to stealing the ball. Jones, nice body control, and gets the soft roll. Hughes backing in now on Robinson. Keith Hughes got it, and he can shoot you. from the inside and the left. <laughs> Three-point reach. He doesn't like it. Take This guy, Bob, is not really known as a scorer. Bob Wenzel not relying on him for scoring ability, so it's a big bonus when he's playing well offensively. In the corner. Dattica, nice Great pass look. down low, Great and look. Hughes gives Rutgers the lead. The green light. It's Duncan. Hard. Off on a stretcher here just a minute ago as we went away. I want to give credit to the Rhode Island trainer, Ralph Hadley. He's a man. Rutgers is trying to spread him out. Shot good. Mike's first personal foul. Perry comes out of the ball game. Ball game. Six for West Virginia. Can come right back with a three. Carter over the shoulder to Duncan for the three-pointer. Yes, from three points. They don't want their two big guys double teamed. Someone else has to shoot. Earl Duncan Barry. Well, we talked about it earlier. The Hall is a team as Savage lets it go, and there he is. Well, Earl 
comes up and looks bigger than 6-3. Duckett. 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 Almost took steps. Definitely got fouled. And Mike Jones, nice look up court to Lumpkin. He hits it. And Donnell Lumpkin, the three ball. Dodge saves it, tips it back to Duncan, who throws ahead to Hughes, who slams it through. That play was all. Me and he is hobbling as he comes off the court, but it may be the other leg. Well, he is hurting, and that really hurts the Rutgers' chances here. Missouri stays in that man-to-man. -man. Nothing but net for Keith Hughes. A couple of threes for him. Get a look at Bob Wenzel. Bob, it's an interview. They're cutting off the baseline. Duckett, Matt Hanley. Here early on, Hughes can't find an opening. Duckett hangs it down. Because he committed himself, left his area wide open. Duckett takes advantage with the slam. And here, 9-6, well loved it. Back to Hughes, they play the two-man game, and Hughes can... Face of Rutgers. Vatica misses, inside, Duckett on the follow. The Jones. Six, seven point run to where then they might pass. Absolutely. Absolutely. Three point. And right here. He gets it up ahead to Earl Duncan, who shovels ahead to Keith Hughes, takes it to the hoop. Almost nailed a really tough. Vatica goes for three. Are they going to stop the game and give him the ball? Oh, nice passer. He laid it in. And that pulls it near the corner now. Danica for three. Got it. Ricky Danica knocks it down, and Rutgers out to a 10-point lead over Rhode Island. Maybe Rutgers would like to change their home court to the Palestra the way they're playing. Boy, this place has been good to it. Rutgers fans celebrating a 10-point lead. Morton both playing in the NBA now, but Avent, Boltzi, and Cooper played considerable time last year. Drew Harvey penetrating that tile well, right there at Rutgers. Rick Dadeker has been a player who's been used off the bench with they're not shooting well, but they're certainly not the, the lethargic. Smith goes all the way and lays it in. Darryl Smith coming up. Four comes down with the rebound. Inside. Duckett. And with Holy Cross. Watch Duckett with the rejection here. Knocks the ball out of bounds. Ricky Dedica's first foul. As always, Dedica. Well, Hodge with his 22nd block of the year. Dedica banks one in to break the drought. Ricky Dedica with a check. Dedica, the senior, was very instrumental last year in Rutgers' run to the Atlantic 10 Championship. This year, he's been a little frustrated. Right now, he's pumped up and showing his to Smith. The sophomore lets one go and gets it. It's a deuce. Darryl Smith has... indication of what a great three-point shooter he is. Second foul on Tom Savage. And the fourth called against Rutgers. Oh, it'll be Seton Hall ball as Duckett went down to grab it. Actually, they're giving it over to Rutgers. I thought Duckett had lost it. I think they whistled it in. Yes, Temple 16. Early. Taylor and George Washington in the first game. And that time, and Hughes. Taylor does. And can't get it. Hughes is there. Takes it up over Kilgore and scores. Hughes. Danica, area code range. Funny looking shot. Is that, that is the third Tiger to pass the head coach on the scoring list. Thinks about the three pointer. Nice move as it goes around, but there to block it is Duckett. Well, I think the hair may have gotten right back to the defense here with the left hand. Right in the path of Duckett. Duckett, excellent defensive play though. Lee Perry picked up his first foul. Now Duckett in the ball game. Now hasn't scored for three minutes. Perry trying to change it and does with a three from the corner. Lee Perry knocks it down from the deep. Comes out and he's wide open, but they missed it. Lumpkin. <laughs> Who said his shooting was a it in this first round NI line? Dadica comes back and answers a long. Rebounds on the night for the Scarlet Knights. Hodge has three. Three point shot is good. Most of the time last year was the leading assist man on the team a year ago. Hughes turns around. The shot. Tipped up and in by Anthony jo Smith. Tom Everson has sunken. Way up in the corner of the Hearn Center as we look down. And Perry checks into the lineup. Lee Perry from Maryland this year. Jumper by Perry. Inside Perry puts it home. 
With Perrette knocked out of there by Eastling. Oh, Danica diving for the basketball. Now it's loose on the floor. <laughs> you better, Danica comes flying into the ball. Now the ball's still loose. Watch the heads. They collide here. Ooh, Easterling and Danica come. Both their heads come colliding. Three quarter. If it's the Rutgers. 14-13. Rutgers bangs away like a guy who's much taller. Savage finds the lane along the baseline. Can't get it to go, but it's tipped up and in. Jones to follow. And that's like the Atlantic tip. Ball went in deep that time. Chip. Lumpkin for three. Yes. Don now Lumpkin. He'll win by 10. Back in the lineup for Rutgers. Man off the bench, and he has to sit out. Injured his ankle in practice yesterday. <laughs> Earl Duncan for three. Just like that. Smith lost it, got it back. Missed on the layup. And McGinnis scores and draws the foul. Nice job by Rutgers to stay after it. Missouri playing very good defense in the transition. Donnell Lumpkin. There's foul in a sense where Eric Leslie had the good move, had an easy shot. Knocked back out of there, picked up by Danica for three. And a big bucket for Rutgers. Danica's second three. Good hustle by the Back inside. to the bench. Gets them both. And he has trouble believing that. But well, Coach Wetzel yelled at the officials because Hodge did the first push. And then when the official looked to see what Wetzel wanted, his man did the push and use, and they caught this guy. Just see he's playing nervous. He gets in the ball game late. He has to make something happen right away. Give something up thus far, Missouri taking advantage. Call on transmission of this game without the written consent of Creative Sports Marketing and ESPN. Nice time to get Dickinson in the game. The Hall with a decent lead. Uh -oh. Last night in Tokyo. Here is Keith Hughes, and Hughes so tough inside the basket. Hughes missed the point. Shot and duck it. Hughes. Oh. It drops for him. Keith Hughes. Arch Macon takes the shot. Good defense by Rutgers, and Macon was way off, and here comes Duncan. He'll pull up and take it. In and out and in again. Earl at the other end. It is blocked by Duncan. Michael Jenner of Rutgers, a 6'6 senior. Uh, now with that substitution, he's going to guard Duncan. And Duncan, so quick at Lumpkin. They don't have real good scores inside right now. Daly cut nails another. Lumpkin for three. Again. First fourth three of the game. Well, Mike Dabney, there was uh, some epic battles. This place used to rock. In the ball game, it's quickly hitting a jumper is Mark Red. That three-pointer. Boy, Duncan's having a good penetration. Duncan, again, he's such a physical guard. When he gets there in traffic, he's strong enough to finish it off. And Taylor in the old. And Duncan's pass to Lumpkin. He's open for the layup. Nice look by Duncan. Well, I'll tell you what, the crowd is really helping Rutgers cause here because they're into the game and they're helping the team a lot this afternoon. 6.48 left in first half. Action three-point range. He gets his third three. Rutgers in the first half shooting. 55 over West Virginia. Penn State and George Washington next. 21 to 17. It can be a two-point ball game. But not in. Button the rebound, and he can't hit. And then Peeler tried to steal. Running is Mike Jones. Duncan in for two. At six of seven now. And foul. West Virginia finally got the ball inside to Chris Brooks. He couldn't put it. Done a good job there. Yeah. He must have won a few games. Danica with a steal. To Carter. He's gonna go. And he Tried to throw it inside. Now Lumpkin picks up a loose ball and scores. Memorable team. He was a part of that 1976 Rutgers. 128 three-pointers. St. John just 53. And Donna Lumpkin, a specialist. Hughes, they say. Duncan among a bunch of blue jerseys. Oh. Still it off the oh, oh. <laughs> Offensive rebound. Jones off the baseline. 
bundled it up there and got it. What a strange shot. We, we saw it there with the pushed out defense. Just inside the three point. Give him the two foul shots. They say he fouled Hodge in the act of shooting. And we have a timeout with 3.39 left in the first half. And it's still tied. Temple and Ruck. But what happened? Carter is one of the guards. Dadica is the other one. He had to be back on. Carter takes He's on his left hand, dribbles it all the way, makes the decision, sees Duckett coming in, takes it right by Berger to score. Once he scores, West. And there's a three. Dribbling Dickinson's may be able to complete that pass with a better angle. The ball gets his own rebound, and that one does. Reddit connects. A three-point bucket for Martin. Double zero. Loses the ball as he had it tipped on the floor, and Smith comes up with it. Behind the back to Perry Showtime. You can see Brooks is shooting 55% from the floor with those four or five feet, and he can't knock it down. Oh, and Hughes comes down, took a terrible shot and made inside against Mike Jones. And both in there to bang against those Missouri inside people. Carter with a stroll with the technical. It's not going to cost Rutgers possession. Rhode Island had the basketball. Bob Wenzel. 22 in all in the first half of the line. Donnell Lumpkin with an acrobatic move. I disagree with Chris Fowler. I think this Temple team belongs in the NCAA whether they win the tournament or not. Wow. Nice spin move. <laughs> Pete Hughes. I'm sure that's not how he diagrammed it, but he'll take it. Hughes gets it back. Don't give him two opportunity. He'll take advantage of it. Goes in, and you can see how quickly Rutgers goes from defense to offense. No one back for Penn State. Three people for Rutgers. If it's a run, three-point range. Berger tried to shut him down as he came to the. Dadica comes back, and Craig Carter was really a starter for most of his career. As Earl Duncan checks back into the game. Boy, after the good start, Rutgers. And when you're seven-two, if you're in good position and use your hands, you can make a difference. Lee Perry for three. Now where is Lee Perry getting this three points? Picked up the dribble on the baseline. He's in some trouble. Almost threw it away and did. And look at Carter's up by himself on the break. Showtime. No, he just laid it up soft. Uh, he hasn't been in the ball game. He broke his toe Sunday. Nice feet inside the... Bill is a head coach. Craig Carter hits the first free throw to pull Rutgers with a... Senior coming in there. Rutgers fouls on number three. Randolph, 6'5", junior from Saginaw, Michigan. And will run the offense. He's one of the all-time assist leaders at Rutgers, but not playing a whole lot now. Keith Hughes, unbelievable from outside. And Keith Hughes will come. Foul is on Earl that game. Rick Dattica really hasn't got into the offense. Savage with a nice move. Early. This has to be a Penn State piece in the ball game. No doubt about it. Left and a half. Lee Perry hesitated and hit the deuce. So in there, and he, I don't think he'll be back at all, Fred. Afternoon, the other guys have come up real strong for him. He's all over the court right now. And there's a three by Lumpkin. Dadica for three. And he bangs it down. I just set him up. And, and Perry is there for the rebound. Dadica for Duncan. Quick dribble in the paint. And Lumpkin with Sealy. Taken away by Carter. Carter goes in. And he learned from the mistake that was made earlier by Charles Smith. Don't shoot many of those. Perry. Seton Hall has done it inside at both ends of the floor. But the Scarlet Knights are right in the ball game. Sure. It was wall to wall. No help. 1.6 seconds remaining. And it's Way too hard. Perry with the rebound. Duncan on the three-point line. It's a two. 30. Rutgers up five with a basketball with 2.40 left in the first half. Danica for three. His fourth three of the first half. There. Tip inside. Count it. Takes it to the hoop and slams it through right there, through right there. Banks it in. There was not a complete conscience among the three of them in the first half. A very low scoring person. Jennings has it blocked. 
That was a great block that time inside by Rutgers. They even were... see Jennings drive. Look at Hughes. And Hughes. <laughs> Chaney's Temple Club a little bit more successful inside in the paint and as I say that Earl Campbell that is Coward down inside nice turnaround on it but saved by Jones Perry quick move in the lane and a shot good in the first game you UMass Anthony Avent who picks up his third foul of the game early the second half Hughes thinks about three takes a couple of steps in gets a nice bounce 18. Keith Hughes here, who had four of those offensive rebounds, came back to stick it. He was four for ten from the floor. There's band entertaining West Virginia as their band here also. We've had a bad three point field goal percentage, so offense is not the problem for West Virginia. And a seven point lead. Mike Jones, strong move into the lane and the shot kill. And Hughes against Rutgers. Smith. And I don't fix it up. Rutgers comes back with the ball. Duncan. The uh, Scarlet Knights got it back, and then Danica, who had five threes yesterday, puts it on the floor and gets it over the outstretched arms of Donald. Time out as Donnell Lumpkin picks up his second. And a big for Andre Green. Danica with the steal out on the break, and he got it. A three pointer, no good, and Duncan with a rebound, and Rutgers is a shot to get within six or less. Well, if someone's going to have to hit an outside shot for Tim. Well, Someone just hit an outside shot for Rutgers, and that was the... Here comes the Lumpkin, and Lumpkin. Oh, second half of play. Keith Hughes with it for the Scarlet Knights. Goes right up and in. Red and double teamed. Gets the ball to Lumpkin to the baseline to Hughes, and a nice soft touch by Keith Hughes. When he touched the ball, there's Jay McGinn. Take him inside, see what he can do. Knights are five out of seven from... Savage is up front with Hughes and Perry. Carter for two, yes. And Franz Volsi picks up his third foul. Hughes wants to work on Volsi. Volsi backs off, so he decides. Three point shot, no. Duncan gets it up quickly and launches a bomb of his. Hughes. They couldn't. To Datica. Datica in the circle. It's a six point ball game. And there's the penetration I want from the. Mike Jones and a collision. Hughes down inside. Nice fake, and he got the shot. Loose ball somehow finds Duncan 30 feet away. And he penetrates to score. He's very doubtful. Duck it. Got it. That's a three-point line in there. It was one of their leading scores last year. Duncan with a nice turnaround. You want to know something? The timeout where Bob Wenzel went over and created the zone defense. Passed by Kilgore. When you're 6'8", you can throw it in like that. Oh, foul is on Penn State is 0-10. That one taken away. Another turnover against Penn State. Jones all the way to the hoop. Count the basket, and Fogel picks up the foul. And their defense in transition is not good enough to stop it. A huge win for Princeton, and we can't let anybody tell us. Mm -hmm. it's early. Nice defense by Blunt. Ooh, Smith, they went back to the zone. Now Hughes for three. By somebody's bench about a week. Hughes, that's a touch shot, and he stuck. That doesn't work out that way. Greg Carter comes in. Rick Danica will sit down. Greg Carter with a wild running one-hander down the lane. Hughes with a rebound. And put you. You have to keep going. Into the ball game for Rutgers is Billy Martin for the first time. Here's Duckett. And Duckett has been a factor on the board. Being up right now, and it may be in their hands this afternoon. Kroger tied up. Rick Jones, ball ball, the possession. Belongs to Rutgers. Button off of McIntyre, feet unable to hit. Boards were cleared by Lee Perry. Duncan to Hughes, to Hughes, to Hughes, Duncan to Hughes, whoa! They really play with a lot of poise and composure. Savage with a good drive. Between First foul on Tom Everson. Tom Everson looked like he put his hand straight up in the air, but what he really did is push his body out on Hodge. Again, the seven-footer. That's going to look down on Hodge eye to eye, that's for sure. Donnell Lumpkin. Finally on 
on the offense. Oh, a good body control. Can't get it to go down. Hughes, 12 on the shot clock. Hughes fires and can't bury the shot. And look at Brooks. It's going to be a foul on Chris Brooks. His third. Duncan got it back from Perry. Now he penetrates. Double pump. Carter with it for Rutgers. Dishes off. Duncan puts it in. John Cheney's type of game. Transition. Believe me, when he gets to the NBA, he'll shoot that. Craig Carter answers for Rutgers. Them having their intensity level up for this game tonight. They had a tough loss against Seton Hall at home. And a very exciting... He event. needs to get hot as Bob Wetzel's team to get it down. Here is Duncan, and Duncan with 12.35 remaining. alley sort of. Perry waits for his man to get off the floor. Swing at the baseline right there as Becton took it away for West Virginia, and Lumpkin fouled him. First half, that's his first miss. But look at the rebound to Jones and the dish to Hughes. Oh, what a dish. I wonder if it's not a bigger margin than 15. Danica trying to pop him up by one, but Smith... We'll put this one. It's 18-10 in favor of St. John. Hughes off the baseline. Tipped up, left-handed. Hughes. And the officials are going to call a little cooling off period here. And Earlier in the game, we saw this. Now, is that what he told no. you? <laughs> no, I, I, no. John Chaney put his head down, said, I didn't tell him that. Oh, Dyson no. throws it back out to Savage. He bangs down the three-pointer. Miller, one-on-one on, one on Duckett, had it blocked from behind by Hughes. A rare fast break for the Scarlet Knights, and Duncan to Keith Hughes for three. Yes! Three. Danica loses Andre Green and hits the shot. A three. And Lee Perry will come out. Here's hanging tough. Hughes, a little dipsy do in the key. Got his own! The score and the foul. Hughes and Duncan basically, Bob, taking over the ball. Goes great dish inside, Hughes off balance, fires, misses, tip. Emerson, Smith. Umpkin, look out, from three. He hits it. Rutgers by nine. You wonder if Rutgers is able to keep up this pace, which has quickened a little bit. What a fatigue will set in with him because he's called on to do an awful lot. Mike Jones checks into the game for Rutgers, and Seton Hall forced to go to a small lineup with three. Our very nearly gets the ball, comes right back to Hughes. Button doesn't really block him out, and then Smith gets the foul, and Smith is going to have to sit down. Carter, the Perry, three-point land for Rutgers. Yeah, oh. Thunder tie it. Rutgers now has outscored a nine-two. Rutgers steps out of bounds. Time tonight, Rutgers able to run. Good defense often can lead. Now the excellent decision by Earl Duncan in transition for the little pull-up jet. Almost a five-second call. They got over force and help. Six before the shot is off. And Hughes comes away with the rebound. Carter breaks three along the baseline. And the lead is now just two. Nice fake shot. Good. They average 15 attempts per game and hit six for about 40%. But a couple of guys from Jersey lighten it up here. Keith Hughes. The and uh, West Virginia did a good job. Hughes, he'll try the three-pointer. Why not? They're all going in, and it's a one-point Temple lead. When you can take it. Here are the Pirates slow and recognize in the open lane. Cooper gets there late. And Carter and Duncan and this guy right here. Looks like he had a couple of steps in there, but heck, when it looks like this, that's all right. Dunks the ball, hits himself on the head. Just a great thing to get him off. There's Danica again with the hands. Danica with a steal. Hughes with the ball. The Duckett, and it's good. Rutgers up by three as Duckett has a six point. Rutgers gets an unfriendly carom as Jennings loses the ball. New Jersey gets one, and the freshman, number 44, Donnell Lumpkin, says, Me too. Great rotation. Rutgers going into the zone. And right zone. Has his own, and Rutgers has the lead as Keith Hughes takes the mystery pointer and puts it in and turns it over. And Rutgers will have a chance to tie or take a lead. The hair weaving his way in and play aggressively, but if they do, Hughes. 
Duncan, a fake, takes Leslie in the lane and takes an acrobatic shot and hits it. And trouble. And look at Jones penetrate. It rolled in. Hodge put it on the floor and lost it. Hughes, a three on two. Hughes is going to take it to the bucket and score. Keith Hughes has six in the second half, 16 in the game. Keith. The duck out of Spring Arn Heights. Jones with the short J, and he ends the same. Get in behind the three-man Temple front. Hughes throwing it up from deep. Now there's Jones missing tip by Duncan again. Mike Jones playing a terrific floor game this afternoon. Jones with a great dish. Jones with a great dish and Jones with a great dish inside to Hughes. And Rutgers goes back up by two. And see, Rutgers has to pull out and try to get organized. Last time they did it, they did it for one series down the floor, just inside three point. Crowd wants three, but it's two by two. They'll probably give the basket to Button. There was six shot. It's just been a tremendous effort by the Scarlet Knights. Macon, 6 for 19 from the floor. If he was having a good shooting night, Temple would be running away with it. Pay for it. Oh my gosh. Hughes forced the shot and got it and was fouled. 18 for Donald, for Keith Hughes. Heated. Bob Wenzel disbelieving. I think they got Anthony Duckett with the foul. It was Duckett they were pointing at. We're going to have more time to cool off now it was Duckett and it's his first foul. There was plenty of contact. Certainly a foul could have been called on somebody. There was a foul. A high point game. Princeton with the lead. Hughes. Yes. Oh, the guy's up high one ball handle. The hair finds his way, but he... Well, Steve Berger just did it by himself there. On West Virginia. That one put Craig Carter into the Rutgers bench. For a traveling violation. <laughs> Bob Wenzel can't believe it. Now wait a minute, he says, it's a what violation? <laughs> what it is is a timeout with 454 or less. He wanted a push. He'll be debating that the problem for that man's stand. But if that happens, Rutgers has got a chance. Duncan from three-point land, it's good. Way out there, and a three drained by... Hughes, inside, draws the foul, and the basket counts. Body control, Hughes. Maybe it's fatigue, I'm not sure why, but you don't usually see the... Nick Kilgore gets called for the foul here. With the reach in, Hughes continues to play. Hughes is... Time out on the floor, 4.05, left in this quarterfinal game from Rutgers. Though they've shot the ball well in the first half from the three-point line. All right, good point, and it's just a reflection of the style of play. But I'm gonna keep... Tell you what, Hughes doing a great job here in the second half. We well, had nine four lanes or more open. Duncan forced it inside, and oh. Hughes there again. Oh. Doing a good job keeping control of this basketball game. Oh, tough shot. Hughes. Oh. Keith Hughes the lead with a three. Baseline left to the hair. Good defense by Duncan. There's Hughes clearly over the top with the clean. Goal. Keith Hughes just puts it on the floor. Bows by Singleton. Good pump fake under control. Draws Werdan off his feet. It's just very tough to do that against the Redmen. They normally are in there. Play. Here's Smith. It's a little bit too long. Look at Hughes. Off balance oh. fires and what an impossible shot. We'll talk about a big one to miss. He still can hit this one here. And make it a two point. Out of six. Not very well. They should try to get Keith Hughes against Beckton. Carter through the leg, soft shot. It's Duncan for the rest of this game. This is a team already without. Running at Nathan Button. Duncan into the lane. And Earl Duncan. Rickers knocks down this long three pointer. That outside touch earns Rick Depp. It's Craig Carter back for the RU Knights. Carter. Move. Got a screen from Everson. Gives it up in the corner. Smith shot good from the deep corner. Point range here in the second half, but no success. Hughes finally ends the Terry. Here comes Duncan for Smith. Got the roll. Daryl Smith has got it. Oh, now they're in trouble. This young man will make it. 20 saw on a steal. Jones to Carter to Jones. 
to Perry. He blows the layup, and there is Hughes to put it in. And we're got all the tools to be a complete basketball player. Donnell Lumpkin. He had four threes in the first half. That's five on the bench. Up front. He pickles a four early, but we haven't seen him since. And Hughes blocked Miller's attempted hook. And it goes out of bounds to the Tigers of Princeton. We'll take a break with 11.52 to play. Princeton leads by five. 21 on the shot count. Brown on the wing. St. John's with the lead. Keith Hughes posting up on Singleton. Strong move by Keith Hughes. A long home by great free of difficulty. Here's Hughes having a tough time. Then look at this shot. I mean, he's a bad pass picked off by Craig Carter. Carter to the bucket. And Duck shot seven free throws. Anthony Duckett coming back in, replacing Everson now. Poor pressure. Try to get a couple of turnovers by Temple. Let's see if that can make a point. Penn State lead. Duncan way outside. Good heavens, it's a 22. Right here, Mark Macon wants to run time. He got himself, what he wanted was to get fouled and be the foul shooter. But Rutgers did a good job. Now, here's when the mass confusion starts. No one is ready to play. Wow. And West Virginia gets time out as the fans are in the work. And Mel Lumpkin just fouled out of the game. Well, he took his gum out and fired it, and fortunately for him, the official who made the call didn't see him. Lumpkin has fouled out of the contest. And Bob Wenzel looks on. The freshman gave him a big game, 18 points. He's happy with the play. Shot in a long, long time. There's Smith. Foul by There's Smith. Foul by There's Smith. Foul, foul by Carter. Puts it up and in. A little high-low game here, Savage. I'm looking for you. Ooh, nice foul move. shooter on the floor and Mark Macon. Well, you know what that's called? Well, Rutgers fouls. Oh. As the Rutgers Scarlet Knights go back to huddle with her. Leslie going up. Wow. Can't get up. Gets it back. Tries it again. He's fouled. Count the basket. That's an eight-point game. And where has this offensive rebounding been for Rutgers? That's what killed him in the first game. Earl Duncan in the lane, yes. Two remaining. And don't get an answer. <laughs> and Bob Wenzel's telling him right now, good game and what? The daddy cut. And Chris Brooks knew. Rutgers has 44, Hughes has 24 of them. That was on Lovelace, his foot too strong. Hughes is there. Fakes, fakes again, takes it up. Rutgers back in front. Now Jones from the foul line. Ten state by one, but the Scarlet Knights have the basketball. And on Rutgers, that is their 15th good hustle by Craig. Carter penetrates. Beautiful move, and a foul is called, and the basket counts. <laughs> like the lead boulder in an avalanche. There's Craig Carter. The Let's go back and pick up action here. Danica getting the drive. Well, Keith Hughes is always on the other end, but right there, Bobby Wetzel's very happy. Well, there's a nice play. Look at that. He's happy. He's pumped up, and his team's playing extremely well this afternoon. Having that natural basketball instinct. Mike Jones has been a story for Rutgers off the bench. The Pepsi of Army 10 tournament from the Palestra in Philadelphia. One of the most regulation has 20. Perry has 10 points and 17 rebounds for Mr. Lee Perry, the senior. Now, just now. White jerseys, bring it out of the way. Here I come. Doesn't matter. Nice, smooth shot off the glass. He held Henshin, and Henshin will go to the line one. Average of 15 and a half points. Good as a three, in my opinion, but now you almost, because you haven't gotten a quick two. in a hurry, pulls up, takes the shot, gets it. Mike Jones, Paul and Ducky. Ducky thought it was clean. The Denver native draws the defense. From Kenny Green, the other three playing zone. The problem with that, that gimmick defense, Michael Brown and Kent, Jeff Kent can shoot the ball too well. So I don't think any kind of junk defense. I'd also be worried about the 1-3-1 because Kent... Jones on the dribble at midcourt to Duncan. Three seconds left. Duncan in the lane. Left hands up, gets it. One second left. Left go. Money 
nice shot. Earl Duncan, a one-on-one -on -one move. They had it planned. Mike Jones, the freshman, said, I'll give it up for you, Earl. You do it. He used a little Earl Monroe spin move and went right to the basket. What a nice move. All three people have played very well for him. This game has been brought to you by another great jumper. Tough move by Mike Jones. This year's Atlantic 10 champions. Jones. Jones. Spinning move in the lane. Shot good. Where's Mike Jones been? Now Rutgers will get a timeout with 48 seconds left, and they're down by eight. Jones is at two very difficult shots for this team to get him within eight. Point Princeton lead. Carter drives. Locks the call. The basket is good. to play. Scarlet Knights down 12. Lumpkin. Got it. Three and that one was from about 25. The end of the last overtime. Perry wide open. Perry! Draws Rutgers within one. Answering with a jumper is going to be good quick shot. Duncan for three. To play Danica with a lot of concentration. They are going to know what the coach wants them to do. Both teams. Other end of the floor, Bob Winston with his instructions. Hughes with it. A minute 40 to play. Keith spots up. The Rutgers band and the fans down in the end zone at student section have been whooping it up. Great crowd here at the Lewis Brown Athletic Center today. It's sold out. Bob Wenzel has turned this thing into one heck of a basketball atmosphere. Oh, it's great. It's a sixth man for their team. When they're down, they get them back in. Savage throws up the three. Got it! Pointers. He had made 12 out of 33 attempts coming into tonight's game. So Rutgers plots the strategy trailing by three with 14 seconds left. It's kind of a no-brainer. You got to deny the inbound. Foul. Not a performance. Martin lays it in. Home court, as we said, the Atlantic 10 home court team seemed to win. And right now, Rutgers looks like they have left Virginia's number. Had his left knee heavily wrapped when the game started and then sprained the ankle. His right ankle in before halftime, and now he's finishing the game in civilian coach. All right, here we go for the last three. Jones gets the tip. Mike Jones. Three pointer by Savage just a moment ago to put Rutgers in this position. They trail by three, so this man Hughes for three. Very competitive ball game today, Ed. Excellent game, and it puts that man's right up in the second position, right behind Temple in the lost column by one game. So Rutgers again wins it this afternoon. 77. Bob Wenzel and his crew are not dead yet. Well, the young fella just, uh, just won't. He's just going to go. There's the big spin move, a little bit of a hook. Now he goes over the leading shot blocker in the country. He just can't get to it. They win by one. On a break in the palestra. They definitely rival the folks down at Cameron Indoor on the campus of Duke. And they bring Rutgers. Look at Bob Wenzel. <laughs> 